Hello and welcome to Beanworks University. This lesson covers how to handle purchase orders, invoices, and payments that don't fall under the standard workflow. Examples of a non-standard workflow are deleting and resetting. The Actions menu available in the Details view of each module lets you manage these various scenarios. Let's start with the Invoice module. In our first case, the invoice is not yet submitted for approval. From the In Progress tab, open up the Invoice in the Details view, where you can see the coding information and invoice pages. Click on the Actions button on the top right to see your options. When an invoice has not been submitted for approval, you can delete it or change its status to Pay Later or Do Not Pay. Let's dive into each of these options. Delete an invoice if it is a duplicate or something that does not need to be in Beanworks. Click on Delete Invoice under Actions in the Details view of that invoice. Deleted invoices stay in Beanworks for 90 days and can be found by turning on the Deleted status in the Search or Archive tab. If you need your deleted invoice to become active again, open it again in the Details view, click on the Actions menu, and select Reset Invoice. Changing an invoice to Pay Later is setting the status to Pay Later or PL. The invoice can still be found under the In Progress tab, but will not appear by default unless you specifically turn that status on. Use this function if you're not ready to process the invoice in the near future and want to hide it from your queue. You would then need to periodically check your Pay Later invoices and move invoices back into your queue when needed. Do this by opening a Pay Later Status Invoice Details view and, under Actions, click on Process Invoice. The invoice goes back to the In Progress status and is editable. It can be worked on and submitted for approval. Lastly is the Do Not Pay option. Select this option for an invoice to move it from the In Progress tab to the Archive tab with the status of Do Not Pay or DP. This is used if you don't want to put an invoice through the workflow, but you want to keep a record in Beamworks so it can be searched on later. Vendor statements and even invoices you may be disputing are good examples of when you might need this feature. To move an invoice in Do Not Pay status back to the In Progress tab to submit it for approval, open up the Details view of the invoice, and under the Actions button, select the option Process Invoice to change the invoice status back to In Progress. Our next case is once an invoice has been submitted for approval, is approved, or exported. There is another option available, which is to reset the invoice. You can reset to move the invoice back to the In Progress tab to correct and resubmit for approval again or to delete it. You would select the option Mark Invoice as Paid if you use BeanPay and an already paid invoice is showing up on the Create tab of the Payment module in error. When you go back to the Create tab within the Payments module, that invoice will not appear anymore. The Mark Invoice as Exported option is used for ERP's integrations using a Beanworks Sync tool to transfer invoices to the ERP. You can find more information on this function in the integration area of our support site for your specific ERP. You may have also noticed an audit log option in this menu. This feature is only for administrators to get historical details about what happened to an invoice, when, and how. OK, let's head over to the Purchase Order module. The Delete, Reset, and Audit Log functionality is the same as in the Invoice module. There are two specific options for the Purchase Order module. Any PO in Purchase Order status or fully approved status can be closed. It moves it to the Close tab and changes the status of the PO to Closed, or CL, so that it can't be matched to an invoice anymore. You can also reopen a PO which moves it from the Close tab in CL status to the Committed tab in Purchase Order, or PO status. Only purchase orders in PO status can be matched to invoices. Close a purchase order after it has been matched to an invoice and is no longer needed for new invoices. We strongly recommend keeping only active purchase orders open to keep your Beanworks clean and concise. The final set of actions happens in the Payments module. Let's look at the Details view of a payment. There are three options. Resetting a payment works the same way as Reset in the other modules. You can delete a payment on the In Progress tab and send it back to the Create tab. Use this if you have an integrated ERP workflow for payments and your payment was first created from the Create tab. You can revoke a payment in Released or RL status only if the money has not moved yet and it's safe to revoke or pull the payment back. This time frame is different for each payment method, and we advise you to review the support article about revoking to learn the time frame for each method. Okay, this completes the lesson on dealing with scenarios that are outside the typical workflow for invoices, purchase orders, and payments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, 
And if you have any questions, please contact Beanworks Support by emailing support at beanworks.com.